A failing public school is now telling RTV6 to get ready. By this time next year, uh, scores will be up and state takeover will no longer be a threat. Hopes are high thanks to one major change. The Now's Ann Kelly joins us live from the newsroom with more on what we're learning. Hey, Ann, sounds like a great Hey, Raphael. Hey, well, first things first, some background. A school's accountability is, grade, is graded uh, based on their students' I step scores. So, in A school, if a school gets an F year after year, at some point, the sta state is allowed to step in. Now, IPS is George H. Fisher's school, 93 on the east side. It is almost at that point. Assuming they get another F when scores are released this fall, kids have to do well on this spring's I step or the state could potentially step in. It's kind of like a do or die. That's where Project Restore comes in. It's a teacher-created and led initiative that has already turned around two IPS schools. Both 99 and 88 went from an F to an A in one year several years back. Now Principal Nicole Fama says it's 93's turn. Either we do it or the school fails. And so failure to us can't be an option. We can't even do that. These kids deserve a quality education and they haven't had it. Ten minus six. After last year's principal failed to fully implement Project Restore, Fama, a former teacher who helped create the program, was appointed principal this year to do just that. To get these kids up to speed and not just passing but excelling on the I step. So we had to ask, how are they going to make it happen? We post the teachers' class averages every week. Fama showing me around the halls today, telling me a month in there are already a few key changes being made that she knows will work. Among them, School 93 now has a dean who handles all disciplinary issues, so teachers don't have to waste classroom time doing so. Every week, students are now tested on material similar to what will be in the I-STEP, so teachers know what they need to work on. And one of the biggest changes, parents are now encouraged to get involved in their child's education, being sent their students' grades every week so they know how they are doing. This year is so different. This is what the children deserve. And will it lead to an A for this failing school on the verge of state takeover? Well, like Principal Fama, Mom Ashley Thomas is optimistic. I see all the support. I see teachers supporting each other. I'm like, oh my goodness, this is what an A school looks like. And we'll continue to follow School 93 and how it does perform with this new model. We should mention, though, it is by no means the only area school who needs to turn around test scores this year to avoid state takeover. We've been looking at the data. What schools keep getting Fs over and over? It's a list you need to see, and it will be up on our website, theindychannel.com, later this evening. Reporting live in the newsroom for the Now Indy, Ann Kelly, RTV6. If that school can do it, we're going to cheer them on, right? Next <laughs> year right. at this time, they're going to do fantastic. Mm.